can you just talk about like when you've had a successful sort of elevator speech moment for yourself or even like watch them from the other side like how do people set themselves up for success so that that pitch is delivered well yeah um so <laughs> this this sounds like a shameless plug i don't mean it to be but it kind of is i guess but that second book i showed top guns top 10 that's that's literally what i did i distilled what i thought were the 10 best leadership lessons that i observed when i was a commanding officer i, I basically came up with what i called 10 axioms and it was everything from uh, number one was nothing worthwhile is ever easy, right? So it's hard work, it's dedication. This whole get rich quick thing is 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 fake. You know, even people who kind of make it look like they can do that, they're working really hard behind the scenes to to achieve that. Um, number ten is don't wait to make a friend until you need one. So, it's, and the way I taught my sailors was that I said when I had been, you know, the first seventeen years of my career, anytime you walk into a room or to a meeting, I think we all do it, right? You kind of you instantly assess who's in the room and who are the power players, right? So you get the people who'll never talk. You get the people who will talk, but they'll say something incredibly stupid. And then you got like those people who are just really dialed in. And it seems like no matter what they say, everyone kind of leans forward and says, you know, what makes, so I wanted to study what makes those people and, you know, uh, unique, what makes them who they are. And one of the, the coolest meetings I had when I worked for the chief of Naval operations was a, retired Navy captain. So this guy had joined the Navy in the 50s. He had risen up through the enlisted ranks, then got commissioned as an officer and rose up to be a Navy captain. And then for the, for the last 25 years, he had been the guy who's singularly in charge of assigning every single flag officer in the United States Navy, right? So, and he'd worked for Admiral Nimitz after World War II. So this guy like basically had seen everyone and done everything. And I asked him for two hours of his time, I sat down with him and did basically the same thing and said, look, you've seen every flag officer for decades. So what are those common attributes? What are the things that you've noticed about people who rise to become an admiral that sets them apart from their peers? And so he gave me a lot of thoughts, which also I, I distilled over time into those same axioms. So, I mean, great question. I think there really are uh, consistent, repeatable things that people can do that will give themselves the edge uh, to be successful. And one of my favorite quotes is, um, you know, because people say, wow, you're so lucky. And I like the quote that luck is when preparation meets opportunity, right? So you've prepared Amen. yourself, done a lot of great things, and, and you're ready to go. And then suddenly, boom, the opportunity hits, and you're in the right, and you're in the right position to make something of it.